Welcome back to the Cube, also known as Birthdays the Beginning. We are today on the huge map. But the goal today is to see if we can get any life to form and to get a massive, massive world happening. Now, here's something interesting. I don't know if this is mine, but this box of source tracks and the UFO were on my world. And nothing else transferred over. And I can't remove this. I removed all objects and it's still there. And so I'm not entirely sure what the crap is happening. But today we're going to start a brand new world in Birthdays the Beginning. And we're going to challenge ourselves with this massive, massive, massive world. I mean, look how long it just took me to fly. So the good thing is, though, is that we have like the largest tool that we can possibly probably even find. Uh, and what I think I'm going to do, actually... Uh, this is a 9 by 9 negative 5 valley. Is that even necessary to do? Probably not. So I want to work on forming the ocean. And then once I have achieved that, we uh, will essentially start working on our mountain range. And then see what kind of life we can get happening. Okay, so I think that I've developed a pretty good looking area. And I'll talk, kind of talk about what's going on here. So I've got... A really cool looking like ocean area that's got varying depth there's some deep sea there's a lot of four a lot of three a lot of two i've got another pond on the other side and then one area that's right by this as well as a mountain i'm really curious to see what happens here uh but i also have this mountain range thing and so my thought was we will f let's form so this mountain range is a, where is it, right here, I was already on it, is a 31 by 31 mountain that is 15 T tall. So it's pretty significant, like, range, and so I thought we would, like, drop this down and just see what this looks like, because I don't think I've built one yet. And then what I thought we would do is, what if we take and we make a river source right on the top of the thing, and it'll, it goes like all the way down, I guess. And then let's just like make a river come out of here. Actually, let's make it go this way. And then actually we'll, we'll do, what's this? Oh yeah, also you can scroll wheel too, which is, I didn't even know about. Uh, let's, let's make it go like down this way and then we can have, it's gonna look really cool. But then we can have a river source running this way so we have some moisture and stuff. Cause obviously there's some stuff that'll grow in deserts, but we need some moisture too. So how about we do like three, a couple three sections and a couple four sections. And then that way we can see what we get in this area. I'll make it actually make sense there. Yeah, we'll just see what we get in this area because I'm, I'm curious to know like what kind of life we just get in some of these places because it's so different and it varies that I really have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm really curious to see. So okay, so we've done we've done a quite a bit of stuff here. That looks so cool. That that uh that mountain. It's really close to the water, but let's let things happen here. We should get like all of our basic stuff, and then we. Sh I wonder what other life we'll get. I always like I have been like kind of planning this out quite a ways in advance in terms of like the actual like areas and like I'm, I really want to see if I'll get anything growing in those 100% moisture little islands right here like these little things I, I'm really curious to know if we get anything that happens in here because it's such it's like 100% moisture and so I would imagine that we get some life growing on there now we have to get more life than this this can't be the case. We might just have to wait a long time because it's so huge. Oh, we, we might also have to wait for the temperature to drop because, yeah, there we go. So temperature needs to drop first because it's so massive uh, that things are going to start things are going to start dropping and dying and coming around. You'll It should go up and down over and over again, I think. Um, but I think eventually we're going to get this kind of balance out. 89% land and 11% water. So we still need to develop quite a bit of area, but it's so much land that I just have no idea what's going to happen. I kind of want to develop this over here and get some more mountain ranges in here. Let's do that right now. Okay, we've done a lot of work. I've added in some more water areas. There's not a lot of water over here, 
but this percentage has gone up significantly we've added some more land we got a mountain over here we got all kinds of different things going on and so i better start getting some freaking life in here now albeit it's so much larger that i think life forming is going to take a lot longer to happen which is totally fine but i just thought you know i i want to get it all situated before we even get anywhere just to see if we can get life happening even quicker than what i think it's going to on this huge massive world i mean it's like a huge world life starting to grow stronger because i have expanded the the deeps i've made this one area that i have dubbed the pit and uh i have low i've lowered so much uh ocean that the temp has actually started to go up so colonia is starting to uh birth more alrathia just birthed so now we've there we go we got our first plant yes things are happening now guys now we got life happening because i raised it just to 45 45 degrees and now i'm getting life galore this, this is like the perfect temp for most plant life so now i think is when we're gonna start seeing some really interesting uh really interesting life start to happen in these different areas you can see like the the areas around the water starting to kind of get soaked in why'd you die why are you dying now we get some we got some fish already sweet aha uh -huh. now we're now we're booming guys now look at this this is sweet the uh temple area is starting to to grow some things are dying off in certain areas oh 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 sweet we're getting some actual uh trees already too nice okay now i think i know why look at all this stuff that's happening life life conifer life <laughs> just tons and tons of life okay now that we've taken a little break we're at the blue gamut stage here let me just uh let me show you this i put so this was mountain right and it was freezing cold and there was actual snow up here uh but light you know this is starting to go down again so i'm gonna have to work on that but uh, we got some conifers here because it's so cold. But check out this area right here. I have dubbed this area the pit. Look at this. It's just a massive, massive pit. And there's actually some some life growing on going on down here, uh, which I I figured it would. But look at how deep it is in the core there. Yeah. So this is actually going pretty well. I'm I'm really curious. Look, we got some we got some palm trees growing up here. So this is the very tropical area. Yeah, sweet. Oh, so we got some fungus growing on here, some bacteria. Life is happening. This is gorgeous. Okay, so here's the thing. The temp is starting to go... Uh, oh, let me get out of this mode. The temp is starting to go down again. The Aeroraptor. So if we can keep the, uh, keep the world... I don't want to exit the game. Well, I must just... I must just do that. Uh, if we can keep this, you know, warm enough for a while, we might be okay because they need moisture and temp. So like 43 here, so they could grow, they could birth over here, um, really anywhere. I would imagine this area probably over here would be good. Yeah, 50, 50. Yeah, it should be enough. It's a little colder up there, but I think it. It'll be fine. We just need to let it. We just need to let it run and see what it, see what occurs because we might. We're probably gonna get more life, but I want to get these numbers to really strong numbers so that way. Oh, I just got something new. Crowded cube. I got an achievement. Maybe it's because we have so much stuff here that things are actually starting to. We might actually get some new life that we've never got before. So yes, yeah, so we're getting all kinds of plant life. And so I would imagine this is going to start going down. The air temps... Oh, they went up. Calamites. What's that? Hold on. Calamites. That's a new thing. Oh, it's this tree. Oh, I thought I had this tree already. Guess not. So this is the new thing that I got. The calamites. It is a tree that is adapted to warm plains. It seems to be a differentiation from blue gamma. Okay, so we got something new, actually, which is kind of surprising that I'm still getting new things... Uh, at this point of the game, but there there are lots of things that I have yet to discover and so we might Find that we were gonna find all kinds of new stuff for all I know But this is the largest world that you've ever seen isn't it? Uh, it's the largest world that maybe some look at how much land look at how far we can get these oceans down I mean look at this. It's massive. 
So the, so I think the I think what they want you to do with these huge worlds is they obviously have mountain ranges and stuff, but then they'll have also really, really, really deep seas, like extremely deep seas. Okay, so the temps temps going down, so we're gonna have to fix this again. We're gonna have to change some things up, I think. But we've it looks like we've reached a, a, a kind of a hold pattern here. So 38, it looks like it's going up. Let's let's make the seas let's make the seas go down a little bit more. And that way we can uh, keep that temp up. 39. I want to get it to back up to like 45, just to see if we get any life. Well, maybe even 43 would be fine. Okay, so now that I've done that, uh, actually, you know what I'll do? I want to use this. It only gives you a thousand back, which is crazy. I ran out of the huge ones. I want my huge ones back. But we need to use this, and then we're going to just go down a little bit more, and then use some field sources, so that way we don't have to... Yeah, I'm really, I'm also really curious to see what, what the heck goes on down here. Because there's got to be some really massive things that occur, I would imagine. You know what I mean? I have to imagine. Drop it. Like it's hot. 41. Okay, so this is, this is what I was doing with the other pit. But I think this is a necessity, and we can always like you know make them make some shallower areas off of these too if we want to. But I'm just curious to see if anything occurs. But then to also get this temp back up, I gotta have good temp. 42, 43 might be okay. Deep sea 32. Okay, there we go. 43. So I'm I think maybe some more life might occur from this we obviously don't want to we want more river sources i think we don't want to use up the entire area with deep sea ocean we want to have it we want we probably want to have river sources because we want to have some desert area but we also want to have the majority of the area have moisture because things need moisture to to live and so like over here i might have like a river run off of this or something and run into each of these i don't know this is a mountain source. It's just kind of a test area. See what happens. Anything going to happen here? Oh, let's speed it up. I didn't realize it was slow. Looks like life's going up. That's good to see. Things are getting strong. No, don't die on me. We can't have anything dying. No. Conifers. No conifers going up. There we go. Cactus. Okay. So we got some cactus growing. Lots of things near death. <laughs> You should be able to adapt to whatever area you're in, I would imagine. Right? Cact looks like cactus are growing out here. This area has nothing going on over here. Maybe I'll just like run a river through all this stuff. For the most... We'll have one area that's like a desert. Let's do that right now, since we're not getting any life. So let's find out where this... Where are the cacti growing? Yeah, cacti are growing right here. So we're going to keep this area as the desert. So, let's... And by river, I just mean, like, watery areas. Oh, crap. Am I screwing this river? Oh, no. It, it looks good. Okay, that's that's kind of what I wanted to do anyway. So that's totally fine. And then I'm going to have this river run out here. Just to give some moisture to this area. Because I think that's why nothing's growing over here. There's no reason why things shouldn't be growing. Yeah, we'll just do this. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So after a while, you know, you kind of in this game, it kind of just gets uh, like tedious, lowering the land and stuff. But it, you have to do it. Okay. So now the majority of this world has water covering it. I mean, there is so thirty percent of the world is in water. Is like water now. I think that should be significant. I think the temp is going to go up, and so things should be okay. But I wonder if I'm like starting to put too much moisture in certain areas where that's why some of these things are dying. But then again, maybe not. But we're not getting any life though, other than the trees, which is the issue we had with the mini map. Mini map. We couldn't get a we couldn't get a good balance. I mean, we got oh, over 1.7 million cacti. But we can't get any life other than the the uh, ocean stuff. And so this is what I'm talking about. I think we got to a point where 
it seemed like it was going okay, but then we were having all kinds of issues. Look at all the conifers in this area right here. We can never get the get life to occur. That was like the biggest issue. And so like I don't know what I need to do in order to get that balance to happen because the thing is like if we go to the library for example and we look at the at this 37 to 43 why right, is the birth temp um it appeared a hot climate uh in a hot climate after the propagation of its prey um oh after the propagation of dimetrodon so where is the dimetrodon what is the dimetrodon this thing right dimetrodon 22 to 28 oh so we won't get this until we get this and that's really cold so you think oh you know what let's uh let's take a look here what's that stone that's over here it's got i think that stone is like the freezing look at all the conifer growing it's insane is this the max stone like the biggest one because what if we uh do we have oh yeah we have a stone 10 10 degrees so this is 12 over here. This is like freezing cold. So what if we drop this here? Now it's 32. We need to go to the next one up. Okay. Okay, 22. And that one, that thing requires what? 22 to 28. Okay. So that should be good, right? For the Dimetrodon? The conifers, though, what's the conifer? The conifers could die here. I really don't want the conifers to die. I like the conifers. I like them a lot. Where are they? Here they are. Conifer, 10 to 20. Adaptation. Okay, so these ones will live. All right, so let's see if that helps. Because we need the Dimetrodon before we get the Eoraptor. Because the Eoraptor should be, like, should, the, the life, like, the, uh, its ability to, it has the conditions. It just needs Dimetrodon. Okay, we just got three things right there. Cramped Cuba just got a new achievement. Conifers going down. Conifers shouldn't go down. It should stay the same. We're getting lots of life. Um, you know, the way, the way I could keep the conifer is I could raise this area up. Right? Because we need... How, what's it need to survive? I don't, I don't even know. I can't even remember at this point. Let's do this right here. Let's just... Where, where should we raise this up? Right here. Whoa, no! Raise it up. Okay. So there we go. So this needs... What was it for the conifer? 10 to 20. Okay, so this area right here is 14. So that should be good, right? Okay, let's just do that. And then we're going to add some more deep sea. <laughs> We've got to add the deep sea area. Let us let us do it. No, no, don't raise it. Gosh dang it. I, don't, I need those big leaves, man. I need the big leaves. Because this is only like, th what, three lowers? We ra Okay, we're raising the temp. 41. One, one more time. Let's do it one more time. I know this episode's a little different. Not like a ton of life happening or whatever. But obviously, I'm just trying to... I'm experimenting with these ma with the massive cube, you know? Come on. Oh, how much more do we need here? <laughs> it seems like it's so freaking close to raising... Okay, let's just use a field source. This is getting ridiculous. Hey, why did that become a favorite? Did I tell you to become a favorite? I don't think so. Maybe I did. Maybe I hit the wrong button. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me. I'm always hitting wrong buttons. There we go. All right, so, so there we go. Now we've done it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what, if we get anything going on here now. So the conifers should, should survive. They should be okay. Conifers, show up so I can see what you're at. I want to see the conifer. Why is all this going down? Should be going up. Alright, let's see what happens here. Conifer. Show me the... I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the conifer. I just like the looks of them. 
I feel like if I have conifers, I'm doing the uh, cold area right. Conifers going down. Off. Oh, there it goes. All right, it's 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 gonna be fine. But we're not getting the metrodons. We're not getting any life to occur. And the Dimetrodon should be should be coming. Mmm. That stinks, man. I like the way the world looks, though. But we just gotta start getting some life happening. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more. Uh, I, I would be pleased to continue on with the huge world and try to get life to occur. Let me know if you would like to see more. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day. I will see you in the next one.